And yes, uh, we're starting off uh, in Cameroon and with what is the latest there, separatist rebels are reported to have fired on an airline's uh, passenger jet as it approached Bamenda Airport in the northwest of the country on Sunday morning. The scheduled flight uh, from Douala landed safely and there were no casualties. They said airlines, Cameroon Airlines, have confirmed the attack in a statement and says it has grounded the plane while it assesses the damage. We'll be bringing you more on this story as more information on foods. Now, still in Cameroon, defense lawyers for 15 supporters of key opposition figure and uh, presidential candidate uh, Maurice Camto says uh, they will appeal a conviction uh, given by the courts on Friday. The 15 uh, opposition members were sentenced to six months in prison uh, on Friday, November 29, in Douala. Uh, the defense claims that they were sentenced for rebellious action and illegal protest. Ruth. And now we head to Douala, where our correspondent Lambert Guofo is ready to give us an update on the situation. Good morning, Lambert. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me on the platform. Well, following the sentences of the 15 uh, supporters to six months in prison, Maurice Camto made a major media outing this Sunday. Tell us more. Well, the first major media event by the president of the movement for the revival of Cameroon was highly anticipated, especially since it took place a few days after he solemnly declared that his party would not participate in the upcoming municipal election set for 9 February. He described the sentencing of the 15 opposition activists as illegal and arbitrary. These opposition members were arrested for having taken part in the march of June 1, 2019, to contest the results of the presidential elections of 2018, where Maurice Camteau had come second against President Paul Beer. The lawyers of his convicted activists have already announced that they will appeal this decision. So just a reminder that the continued detention of the MRC activists is one of the reasons given by President Maurice Camteau to justify the boycott of the upcoming municipal and legislative elections on February 9. The president of the MRC noted last night during this media address that it was not possible for his party to go to the elections if the crisis in the Anglophone-speaking region continued. Uh, Lambert, the uh, authorities there seem to have been extending uh, an olive branch to, uh, on resolving the uh, post-election crisis affecting the country when it released political uh, prisoners uh, some time ago. But now, with this, uh, what does this leave, uh, what is, does it leave, leave the perception? Well, the stopping of legal proceedings decided by President Paul Beer on 4 October against certain opposition leaders, including those of the MRC and Maurice Camteau himself, uh, had been perceived by Cameroon's political class and civil society as a sign of appeasement. The African Union, the European Union and chanceries had welcomed President Beer's gesture, especially since it came one day after the end of the prosecutions and release of over 300 people who had been arrested in connection with the Anglophone crisis. The executive director of the Network of Human Rights Defenders in Central Africa, Redak, Maximilian Ngombe, said that the sentence was incomprehensible. She said she was shocked by the fact that many opposition activists remain in prison despite the stopping of prosecutions decided by the head of state against opposition members who marched peacefully in contest of last year's presidential election. And for the Social Democratic Front, the SDF, this conviction will not help to ease the tensions and the political crisis due to the threat of the boycott of the upcoming elections. So, Lambert, the political climate remains tense, with political parties threatening not to participate in the legislative elections announced by the government. So what are the chances of these elections happening, in your opinion? 
Well, as we were saying, the movement for the revival of Cameroon, the MRC, whose candidate came second in the 2018 presidential election, has clearly announced that he will not participate in the next elections. The Social Democratic Front as well, which is the main parliamentary opposition party, has announced that it will also boycott its municipal and legislative elections if the government has not resolved the crisis in the English-speaking regions of the Northwest and the Southwest by February 9. The leader of the Cameroonian National Reconciliation Party, who came third in the presidential election, said his party would not take part in these elections if a 15-day deadline was not given to refine its electoral lists. Political analysts on the threat of boycotts by the main opposition parties argue that there is a chance that these elections will be postponed if its main opposition parties carry out their boycott threats. And on the government side, party officials equate these threats with political blackmail. Many ministers and officials of the ruling party have stated in the media that these elections will indeed take place even without the main opposition parties. So it's difficult for the time being to decide on the effective holding on the elections. And President Paul Beer, who alone controls the electoral calendar, is the only one who will be able to decide whether or not to hold these elections in light of uh, the current events. Well, we're waiting for February 9, is that all we can do. And thank you for joining us and giving more insight into the situation in Cameroon. Well, thank you and have a great day. That was our correspondent coming to us from Douala, Cameroon.